Magnesium oxide, silicon dioxide and phosphorus 5 oxides are white solids, but each oxide has a different type of structure and bonding. State the type of bonding in magnesium oxide. So this is giant. Well, that's the structure. The bonding is ionic. By reference to the structure of and the bonding in silicon dioxide, suggest why it is insoluble in water. Well, this is macro molecular which has many strong covalent bonds between atoms and just because this is about solubility um, uh, which water cannot overcome or break. So there's your three marks there. Part C, state how the melting point of phosphorus 5 oxide compares with that of silicon dioxide. Explain your answer in terms of structure and bonding of phosphorus 5 oxide. Um, so obviously it is, uh, the melting point is going to be lower and that's because this is a simple or is simple molecular and we're going to have weak intermolecular forces of attraction which will probably be van der Waals so weak van der Waals it does allow a permanent dipole dipole um, so weak van der Waals or permanent dipole dipole or intermolecular forces because it's not one that we can work out um, but you do need the between molecules okay so one two and three <clears throat> D magnesium oxide is classed as a basic oxide write an equation for a reaction that shows magnesium oxide be, uh, acting as a base with another reagent. Um, so, magnesium oxide with hydrochloric acid forms magnesium chloride. So, metal and acid makes salt and water. This needs balancing, so I just need that there. Um, you could do a reaction with water if you wished. So, magnesium oxide plus water gives MgOH2. Um, okay, and then E, phosphorus 5 oxide is classed as an acidic oxide. Write, uh, write an equation for its reaction with sodium hydroxide. So P4O10 plus NaOH gives Na3PO4. Remember, this makes the phosphate and water and if you then go through and balance this you'd need 12 sodium hydroxide four sodium phosphates and six waters <clears throat>